The history of rice cultivation in Japan is believed to date back to some 3,000 years ago, with simple crop management technologies brought in from the Asian continent. Rice cultivation has been widely adopted throughout Japan, and rice has become the primary staple food crop of the Japanese people. To make rice production what it is today, ceaseless efforts have enhanced productivity and generated various innovations, such as irrigation infrastructure, mechanization, and improved varieties and cultivation techniques. Up until the 19th century, farmers were the principal actors of varietal development. Towards the end of the 19th century, varieties with good reactivity to fertilizers and varieties that could be bred even in cold regions began to be developed at the National Agricultural Research Institute. And after achieving rice self-sufficiency in 1970, the main focus of the varietal development started to shift from high grain yield to high quality and good taste. To date, over 700 varieties have been developed in Japan. Diverse varieties enable rice production into colder agroecologies in East Asia and have contributed to the development of high-yield rice varieties in tropical Asia since the 1960s. Continuous cropping on the same land leads to depletion of soil nutrients and consequent degradation of soil fertility. Fertilizer applications are a vital way to maintain the soil fertility. Since long ago, ashes made of foliage were the main source of fertilizer. Then, dissemination of fertilizer-responsive varieties provoked the use of compost made of human and livestock excreta as additional sources of fertilizers. The use of chemical fertilizers started at the turn of the 20th century, and the usage saw a significant increase in accordance with the national policy to boost food production after the Second World War. Currently, fertilizers are technically classified as chemical fertilizers and organic fertilizers, each of which are comprised of various types of products. Our history of pest control dates back to the 18th century. In 1732, plant hoppers, coupled with an unusually cold summer, caused a disaster known as the Famine of Kyoho, claiming hundreds of thousands of lives across western Japan. The administration of the Tokugawa shogunate subsequently launched a pest control initiative, applying whale oil across rice fields to control the plant hoppers. Natural pesticides began to be developed at the end of the 19th century, while the control using chemical pesticides started to propagate after the Second World War. Meanwhile, Farmers primarily controlled weeds manually, or at best with hand-pushed weeding tools, which required a significant amount of labor. The introduction of herbicides after the Second World War enhanced the labor productivity by 30 times. Helicopters are used to apply pesticides across large-scale rice paddy fields. Recently, drones, which are relatively cost-efficient, are being used to apply pesticides on small-scale rice paddies, contributing to the enhanced labor efficiency. Here in Japan, plows, hoes, and sickles, common agricultural tools for farming, have a long-time track record, and we can see the first prototypes for these tools at the remains of ancient tombs in Japan, dating back to over 2,000 years ago. These tools were originally made from wood or stone before being replaced by steel. The 17th century saw a significant evolution of agricultural tools, particularly for threshing. At the same time, animal traction was introduced to release human beings from the heavy labor, such as land preparation.
rapid industrialization and urbanization after the Second World War caused a massive outflow of young labor forces from the rural areas, and it spurred the development of mechanized rice farming. The Agricultural Mechanization Promotion Law, promulgated in 1953, further pushed farmers to adopt agricultural machineries. Take the hand tractor, for example. By 1955, 460,000 farmers, or 7.5% of farm households, had introduced hand tractors. Just five years later, in 1960, the number soared to 2.1 million, or 35% of farm households. This momentum went on, and we saw the arrival of tractors, transplanting machines, and combine harvesters. Thanks to these, all the farming processes were mechanized by the late 1960s. Mechanized rice farming significantly improved labor productivity, reducing required labor time by more than two-thirds. From ancient times to the Middle Ages, people farmed rice on a small scale using natural ponds, small reservoirs and creeks. The evolution in the civil engineering technologies allowed the development of large-scale irrigation infrastructure such as Osaka Canal and Meiji Canal that form the foundation of the irrigation schemes we see today. After the Second World War, the government of Japan embarked on the consolidation of agricultural land under the Land Improvement Act. Such facilities as larger sized paddy fields and wider farm roads allowed a better access of large machineries to paddy fields, thereby significantly contributing to the increase of labor productivity. Rice continues to be the principal staple of the Japanese diet and the importance of rice farming remains vital to this day. Looking forward, we continue to tackle key issues for the future of rice farming such as the development of environment-friendly farming techniques using ducks and to apply more sophisticated approach of the varietal development based on the research on rice genomes. <laughs>